Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Y. The last time we caught Brella, the Helioptile, and we also got a clean new red fit. This time, we're going to see if we can challenge the Silage City Gym Leader and grab this item over here. Super Potion, always very nice. We got ourselves a little hill to ride on here, so let's just check that out. Oh, what's this? Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid that you're too late. The race is over, and I took first place. I feel bad that you've missed it. Here, allow me to give you this Strength HM in Consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it will be able to push large rocks around. I'm not sure if this guy was just walking up to me to brag, but thanks for the HM. However, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you'll first need a badge from the gym I run into the city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you in the gym. Come challenge me at your leisure. Oh, well, that was the gym leader, all right. And we did get the HM for strength. Uh, I think we'll actually just teach that to Dusty over here. It might not be as strong as Return is able to get after a little while. But for right now, it is an 80 base power move, and that is pretty great. I think I'll get rid of... Um, hmm. I'll be able to teach return later, right? Actually, I think I'll just move quick attack. Yeah, that's the safest stop, because I do like double kick for a little bit of uh, <laughs> an extra kick to our moves. <laughs> right. Uh, ooh, there's some stuff down there, too. I want to get that. An X defense. I'm never too fond of using X items. I mean, they are very useful, and you can do a lot of interesting stuff with them, but... Yeah, I'm fine. I I'll just heal up. All right, this is the gym. Let's go inside. The Silage City Gym. Silage? Silage? I have no idea. What does this guy have to say? Hey, hey, it's the future champ. What's going down? This is the Rock-type Pokemon Gym, but you already figured that out, am I right? Rock-types are great, aren't they? Weak to steel, water, and all kinds of things. Now, check out that wall. You can climb it if you start from one of the blue spots. Left, right, up, and down. You'll need to climb every which way to reach the Gym Leader. Alright, Rock-types do have a lot of weaknesses, and I'd say we are pretty well prepared for something like that. We have a water and rock type, we have a ground type, we have a grass type. I don't think that this place is going to be giving us a lot of trouble. All it is is just us trying to climb up and fighting these people. I need a break after all this climbing and training. I mean, I guess so, yeah. Bring it on, Didier. With your dwebble. Bug and rock. Palpok should do well here. Okay. Ooh, 21. Mm, let's just go for water gun, I suppose. Us being a rock type means that we don't take that much damage. Ooh, you know. Took a little bit more damage than I wanted to. I was really hoping that water gun did a lot more damage than it did. Yeesh. There we go. Rocky Helmet coming through. Mm-hmm. Relicanth, a water and rock type. All right, well, our water type is not going to be working out, but Brella, on the other hand, her Thunderbolts will be doing quite well against a Relicanth. I like Relicanth. He has his, like, grandpa vibes going on. It's also level 23. Am I just severely underleveled for this place? Also... Gosh dang, that was painful. Okay, let's bring out the big guns. Ferdinand, show them how it's done, please. Show some Vine Whip power. That was not as much as I was hoping. This isn't going well. I Maybe sh I shouldn't have turned off the experience share way back when. <laughs> Alright, Ferdinand got that experience. Level 23. And Pompa got a level 2. No pain, no gain, he says. 
Mm, do I happen to have something to revive with? Yeah, there you go. Let's revive our Brill. I don't feel like walking all the way back towards um, the Pokemon Center. So I'll just use Soda Pops and the like to heal up what we have. Alright, we can go left or right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say left. Is that the right decision, however? Uh, we can go around the corner there, so maybe? At least we can go diagonal. Uh, can we go further? Yes. Uh, we narrowly evade a vet trainer, but I do need the experience. If that other trainer was any indication of what Grant is going to be like, then sheesh. Alright, Manon. Manon, Manon. Do, 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 do. Let's go, Palm Park. All right, fire, uh, rock and psychic type. So maybe Shadow Claw will do better because our attack is a lot better than our special attack. That didn't do a whole lot, man. Sheesh. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch into Ferdinand. A little bit of switch training never hurt nobody. Man, this team is a lot tougher than I thought. Sheesh. Alright, one more. That should do the trick. A good amount of experience, though. And that was shared between two characters, and then also, uh, whatchamacallit, an experience share. Hmm. Disarming voice. It's a fairy type move. It never misses. I think I'll. Um, move confusion away for it. A little bit more coverage. And we already have Psy Beam after all. Alright, Lunatone. We could switch over. Does Dusty have something? No, they didn't. Um, hmm. I'm thinking Ferdinand is the best choice. Alright, Ferdy. Vine Whip. Oh, that's a little bit better than that other one. Alright, don't worry, Ferdy. Uh, perhaps Dusty can finish it off. Alright, Dusty. Uh, Double Kick won't do as much. I guess I'll just go for Strength. I could do much up, but my special stat isn't all that great. There we go, that did plenty. Alright, good amount of experience. Level 23. And Brella grew to level 19. Just six more levels until... Ooh! Until we can uh, evolve them. Yeah, we will definitely want Clamp. It is a physical water type move. It's not as strong with only 35 base power, but we do get Stab. So I think I'll just get rid of Water Gun, honestly. With that, Br uh, Brella might... Not Brella. Pompok might get a little bit better. This gym was waiting for a trainer and Pokemon like you. Why? That seems like something you shouldn't do. Alright, let's use a revive to bring Ferdy back up on good wings. And use some potions. Alright, everyone's fighting fit again. Let's see if this is the right way. So far, so good. We can go up there. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, there's a hiker over there. Hello, friend. I guess I could have technically evaded him, but, you know, gotta get that EXP. Hiker Bernard wants to challenge you. Rhyhorn! At least it's four times weak to water, so maybe Palmbox Clamp will do a little bit better than before. All right, that's not bad. And we clamp down. Oof, it's stomp though. All right, uh, clamp it. Avoid. Rock tomb. My speed fell. Ah, oh, sheesh. Why isn't it getting hurt by my rocky helmet? It only gets hurt by the clamp. Does it kind of cancel each other out? It shouldn't. All right, I'm gonna heal up real quick. I want to see if I can make Palm Pog um, you know, win. 
got that Rock Tomb. Oh, Rock Tomb. It did use Rock Tomb last turn, so that's why it didn't trigger the, um, the helmet. Stomp should do it, though. Yeah, there you go. All right. Good job, Pompok. No Spaz. Pure Rock type. It won't take as much damage. You know, it is kind of sad that we're having a water type that does physical attacks against rock types that are strong against physical attacks. But, no, uh, Pompok seems to be doing fine. I keep messing up the name I gave Pompok. I keep having to think about it. At the very least, with Clamp and Rocky Helmets, uh, the extra damage that she's doing is going pretty well. Ferdinand Groot's level 24. And the last one is Onyx, another rock and ground type. It doesn't have the best attack either, so maybe I can get away with not healing. Alright, yeah, pretty good. Now, clamp it. Oh yeah. Now some extra clamp damage. I think if we hit with clamp, we can take it down. Yeah. Clamp, there we go. Onyx fades it. We are now level 21. That's great. All right. Good job, Pompok. I think that was your first battle where you went up against a trainer and you did it all by yourself. That is worthy of two high fives. One for each of your hands. All right. Uh, let's see. We should go up here. Yeah, that seems to be the end of it. There we go. There's Grant. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? <laughs> for a worthy challenger to appear. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill as a trainer surpasses even mine. Alright, bring it on, Grant. I don't like his hair thingies, but hey, if he likes them, then what am I to complain? He only uses two Pokemon. I think both of them are fossil Pokemon. Amara uh, comes from the seal fossil that I chose. Well, let's just start clamping. Thunder Wave. And an Avoid. Oh, man. That's not good. At the very least, Aurora Beam doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage. Paral Come on, man. A miss, two paralyze. Three paralyze. All right, I'm going to heal up Pompok. We don't have much. This is the last potion, but... Come on, we got we got to give Pompok a chance to do something. That was a lot of damage for takedown. And it was a critical hit. At least we did some damage. And they got damaged by recoil. Don't kill me. Sheesh. All right, come on. There you go, buddy. We clamp down. That's good. You know, maybe I can heal stall if I just use Aura Berries. They don't heal much, but if they... Oh, a Hyper Potion. Well, all right then. Uh, at least they got damaged by clamp. Let's just finish it as, as we are. Yep. I would use Ferdinand here, but because that thing knows um, Aurora Beam, that's not going to be a smart idea. So how about we just send in Telecat? Psybeam might do a bit more damage than I think. Oh, Light Scream might not be a bad idea, but let's just stick to offense. Hmm. You know, that did a lot less damage than I thought. I don't like the fact that they think this thing has Thunder Wave as well. At least they got confused. If they hit themselves in confusion, we might be able to take it down. Not like that, we won't. Alright. Uh, Dusty, it's up to you. Alright, Dusty. We could go for the double kick. Heck yeah. There it goes. 
All right, got some experience. It's about to send out Tyrant. That's the other fossil Pokemon. It came from the Jaw fossil. I like Tyrant. Uh, let's just try double kicking. Not bad. We can get it down in three turns, depending on how hard this Tyrant is going to take me down. All right. Once more. Mm hmm. Should be fine. Oh, a flinch, really? Oh. That is just sad. All right, Ferdy. It's up to you. Use your vine whip, please. There we go. Despite being a teensy bit underleveled, we came out pretty all right, I'd say. You have proven to be a wall that even I am able to, that I am able, unable to surmount. Jeez, what is with me today? There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it is important that you never give up, no matter the opponents or the odds. I can tell from your about our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. Oh yeah, got that cliff badge, baby. With the cliff badge in your grasp, you should have no issues working out together with Pokemon up to level 40. This even applies to Pokemon you've received from other people in trade. And that's not all, you also get this. Rock Tomb. Might be able to give that to, uh, to Pompok. It's Rock Tomb. With this move, a Pokemon can hurl rocks at its targets. Not only inflicting damage, but also lowering the target's speed and preventing it from moving. Now that you've become a master wall climber and conquered this gym, it is time you thought about how to apply your skills in other areas. Think about how you can improve yourself, as well as the Pokémon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, that's when you'll be able to truly smile. Alright, that was weirdly, um... What should we call that? Uh, inspirational, that's what I was looking for. So, thank you, Grants, for a good battle. And thank you to my Pokemon for helping me out along the way. We should definitely get healed up. They deserve a little bit of rest, after all. So, let's just sneak over towards the Pokemon Center, and then we should continue our journey north. Heals, please. One, two, three, four, five. All Pokeballs. I love it. Okay, let's see if Rock Tomb is a move that we can use. It should be a physical type move, yeah. Not as accurate as I want it to be, but it's going to be very good for Palm Park because it does get stab. Yes, please. And I think we'll get rid of Fury Swipes. With Shadow Claw, Clamp, and Slash, I'd say we have a pretty good move set going forward. All right. Good job, Palm Park. Learned a good move. And we should move Brella up to the front because she's falling behind a little bit. Not something we want. Alright, let's head north on our brand spank new bicycle. What's this say? Trainer tips. To teach you move. Oh, we know how to do that. Come on. Alright, going north. Is there anything up here? It's Route 10, Menhir Trail. Uh, we got some berries, an Ia Papa berry. Oh, we got something we can use strength for. Yes, please. Push it for me. Ha ha. Ha ha. And now we can go here. All right, we gotta go shove that rock into that hole. Mm, I think I gotta push it down here. Twice. What's twice the answer? Okay. Down, left, oh, there we go. Yeah, so far so good. Then up. And then right. Yeah, okay. And then up. And it should slide right in there. There we go. And we got Thunder Wave as a reward. Thunder Wave might not be a bad move to teach to uh, our Brilla here. Okay, bag it up. Uh, Thunder Wave. Brilla. 
Very nice. Uh, yes, it should be. I suppose we can get rid of Mud Slap for the time being. Not really big on using Mud Slap anyway. Uh, nothing else, right? No. That was weird. Uh, Paul Park could learn Infestation. Okay. Oh, we got a wild Pokemon. What's it gonna be? It's an Eevee! I love Eevee. I, I still don't know what my <coughs> sixth Pokemon is going to be. However, I don't think I should get a Pokemon so soon after I just got two new Pokemon. It, it, it's already... My team was already more full filled up than I would usually do it. Because I don't like filling up my team too soon and then have to make the decision later on to be like, Oh man, who do I drop to, f to get this new Pokemon, you know? Alright, last one. That Eevee had a lot of special defense. It didn't even get that much experience. Sheesh. That was not really worth the fight, honestly. <laughs> okay, uh, a Psychic. Alright. This place is flowing with power. I often come here to recharge. Alright. I hope you're charged up enough for a fight, Robert. Solosis. Solosis is cute. I love him. Alright, Brella. It's up to you. Oh man, it's three levels higher. Uh, how about we Thunder Wave it first? Oh, light screen, really? That's not cool at all. Alright, we'll just charge ourselves up then. And raise our own special defense. Thundershock. That didn't do a whole lot. That hidden power was super effective? Oh man, that's either fighting or ground. Sheesh. Oh man, that is not okay. Uh, if it's fighting or ground, Pompok is not going to be too happy with it getting sent out there. I guess I'll just send out Dusty and just use Strength. Gotta heal up Brella again. Alright, uh, Strength. There we go. That did the trick. And we're level 24. Okay, Robin was defeated. You and your Pokemon's levels are incredible. They're over 9,000 for sure. Thanks, Vegeta. It seems like we're going to need a little bit more training before Brella and Pock are doing just fine. And I do believe we're at the end of our episode. So next time, I'll be back right here with fully healed Pokemon and some potions that I forgot to buy. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you again here next time for some more Pokemon Y. But until then, bye-bye!